Well, there's uh, one whitewater rafting place, Silver Canoe, in Deer Park. And they got all their buses and canoes. And I don't know if they have any rafts, but they have a lot of canoes sitting there. And the Delaware River is right over here. So they put you in the river, you go down river, and then they pick you up in a bus and bring you back to where you parked. Past going out of town, established 1934. Port Jervis, named for John B. Jervis, engineer who built the Delaware and Hudson Canal in 1826. Indian name. Wow. I can't pronounce that. Maga Kamak? Mahaka Kamak? Or mini sink. First European settler, 1690. So, this gives you a general lay of the land. That's New Jersey over there with the High Point Monument. I think that's Matamoras, Pennsylvania, across the bridge. Took a quick look at hills, and then the Delaware River flowing through it all. Look at this map real quick. Let's look at this map of potential future spots to visit. Going northwest from Port Jervis, which they say is a historic railroad capital. Mongaup, Pond Eddy, Berryville, Mini Sink Ford, Lackawaxon, Narrowsburg, Darby Town, Skinner's Falls, Milanville. Cochecton, Damascus, Calicoon. I've always been intrigued by that name. Long Eddy, Lordville, Equinock, and then Hancock up at the northern edge. Along the New York Pennsylvania border. And I heard a the train releasing its brakes down here, a Metro North train that is waiting to go back into the city. From Port Jervis slash Matamoras, Pennsylvania. This is technically Park Avenue and there's a historic plaque which is way over on the rock on the outbound side of the road. I wonder how many people stopped to read that. Through Port Jervis, so go down into the town. You can see Route 84 way up high above. Just go down one of the side streets. All the houses are the same size and design. Who are all these people? It says it's a dead end. This way. A little slice of Port Jervis residential area. There's a high Victorian house there with a turret. Very nice. Very bumpy road here. Alright, so let's go back into the town and make our way over to Matamoras. On one or another of the side streets. Let's try Delaware Street here. Another dead end. Let's see. Another nice old Victorian. And this is a tall building here for Port Jervis. I wonder what this is. Park Plaza Apartments. Looks like a Civil War cannon monument. 
I'm glad we came down this side street. There's more of the commercial area. More Victorians. I like that with the brick. Interesting looking church there. This is a modern church here, a Methodist church. Nice older homes. It's like two churches back to back. And so, this is a First Presbyterian church really old and it's next door neighbor Marsh Hall really interesting some work being done in that house Victorians Victorians I mean nobody's gone crazy with painting their Victorians like San Francisco but if they did it would be quite visually eye-catching. There's another Victorian here at the end of the street. It almost looks like a church. This is dead end. Welcome to Farnham Park and Playground. Looks like maybe it was an old school. Or is it a school? I don't know. Interesting. If you like Victorian architecture, then uh, you're getting an eyeful now on that drive around here. Let's see if I can get over there. The streets can be a little on the unusual side. I like the way these are all set back from the street, the big yards. Across from this church. a grand old house under contract for it's been sold the church I thought there'd be like a sign that says how to get to Matamoros let's make a right here let's see it feels like I've been down this street before but maybe not I recognize this uh, building with the turret that we looked at when we were walking around the downtown. All right, so let's make a right here. And see where that takes us. Here's that depot again. The Erie Depot. Well, it's called the Fox and Hare Brewing Company. I hope it's still open. I hate to see here, all these places closed. All right. I want to go west, I believe. And 
sort of takes you in a jug handle. Olympic circle. I don't know what tie uh, Port Jervis has to the Olympics. Under the train tracks now. I want to go over this metal bridge here if it'll let me. A lot of housing stock here. I wonder if a lot of the houses are not occupied. It's always hard for me to believe that that could ever be the case. All right, so let's just take us over to Pennsylvania. Let's see. Open Great Bridge. There's the Delaware River. Back to the bridge. Okay, we're in Pennsylvania. This reminds me of the other, uh, another video I did of another town on the Delaware River, Belvedere, which is south of here. And I forget the uh, little town that was across the river from Belvedere, but was in the overall town of Bangor, like Bangor, Maine. So, mostly residential. I don't know if Matamoros has a downtown. We'll see. Some older homes. I didn't see any signs pointing to historic downtown Matamoros. I don't want to give it short shrift. I see the highway I might get on, Route 84 down here, but let's drive around Matamoros a little more, see what we can see. The street, what a name, Bertha Street. I know one thing about people who live in this side of the river, they pay lower state income tax go this way. I think of Pennsylvania, it's only 3% flat tax. Everybody pays 3% of their income. Whereas New Jersey get up to uh, 10, 12%, which is in addition to your federal income taxes. So New Jersey's a very expensive tax state. All right, I'll, uh, let me film something if there's something that is unique about Matamoros as I go closer to the river. Let's park here. I'm still looking for the downtown and like the old part of Matamoros if there is one. We'll see. Streets here in Matamoros tend to be numbered and lettered so now we're at 3rd Street. The numbers are decreasing as we get closer to the river. A lot of stop signs. So we're on Avenue N. I feel like we're in Brooklyn. Let's see. It says no outlet down here, but we'll see. because you're headed towards the river. This is First Street. There's some Victorians here. The housing stock isn't quite as impressive as Port Jervis. Avenue M. I think like Avenue A and First Street would be the 
main part of downtown. I had to cross the highway here and get to the other side to find downtown Manamoris. Keep looking. Hey, here's that steel bridge we went across. So this is Delaware Drive, aptly named. It's like living right on the Delaware. These are the homes right along the river. I wonder if the train used to come here too, or if everybody in Matamoris knew they had to go over to Port Jervis to catch the train. So there's the river as we're going north. To see if we're going to hit Avenue A or something. So far, it's just residential, and the river looks a little high, but it is flood controlled by dams. There's something out there in the river, it almost looked like a, a dolphin or something, but it could be a covered bridge once here. Alright, Avenue B. This is where the street system starts, Avenue A. So let's go down Avenue A. Well, that was Avenue A right there. Let's go up here a little further. This now takes us into the town of Westfall. We're going to do a turnaround pretty quick. Let's see here, Pond Drive. Another no outlet. I can't go up that hill. It's like a private road. Private drive, no turnaround. That's Easier said than done. Back into Matamoras. All right. We'll shoot for Avenue A and see if there's any there there. there being something to this town like touristy kind of but I am just not seeing it well from what I see if you want to go to a store of any size, you've got to drive. Even though this is an older town, you would think they were being old downtown. At some point. Interesting car there, Continental, wow. A church. I guess Madam Morris is like a suburb of Port Jervis. Well, I feel like we've given Madam Morris a shot. So, I guess the trade off is you get lower taxes here, but you have to drive to get to a store. there's stores out on the outside of town over by the interstate which is usually the case all right we're going to go back over the metal bridge so that's it for Port Jervis and Matamoros I don't think there's enough to Matamoros to make it its own video
Matamoros, Pennsylvania.